With online learning, the presidential election, and a global pandemic, people all over are stuck between a rock and a hard place, trying to navigate the world as it is today. For students, it's especially hard because there is an added pressure to perform at the same level they would during a regular school year, without the same resources. You're the only one that really has control in your life, as far as your like mental health is concerned. So if you have to get like a B instead of an A on an exam to take that extra hour to sleep instead of study, then do it. While there is still uncertainty about the rest of the year, know that there are resources out there for students and community members to turn to that might help relieve the stress they are feeling. Local therapist office and mental health websites are good places to get information on how to deal with these personal issues, especially if someone has never sought out help like this before. Sources from the CDC have stress relief tips such as taking care of yourself, for example, eating healthier and exercising, talking to others, avoiding drugs and alcohol, and recognizing when more help is needed. I, it can be easy to feel very isolated and very alone, and we know from a lot of research that those feelings are really not good for you. Um, they're not good for your mental health, they're not good for your physical health, they're not going to be good for your academics, your classwork. I think um, it's important to try and, I, as safely as you can, reach out to those people that you know. Cougar Health Services provides free counseling for students because of the health fee that is charged at the beginning of each semester. They also provide services like couples therapy, group sessions and workshops, biofeedback, and psychological assessments. For more information about mental health and coping, visit the CDC's website at www.cdc.gov slash mental health. I'm Christian Garza with Murrow News 8.